Hey, what is up everybody? This is Steve DeBreach coming to you today. It seems that the WWE has been releasing that they are going to be trying to cash in on the Bill Goldberg Express yet once again. Word is coming out that WWE is actually going to be using Bill Goldberg to wrestle on the WWE Fast Lane show. Um, honestly, to me, Goldberg is somebody that has come into the company in 2016, building up the Survivor Series, and because he hasn't been around in so many years, he is a fresh face that a lot of the older fans who don't watch wrestling as much anymore because they don't really like the new era, um, they can get behind and they can cheer for a guy. Honestly, to me, using a guy like Bill Goldberg at Fastlane, I believe is a little bit of a risk because of the fact that Sometimes you overexpose something that's not exposed that much. Um, it starts to wear and tear on people that it's like, well, the one reason why I like this is because they couldn't see it anymore. And now you're getting to the point where you're you know, putting out in front of me uh, to the point where now I can pick and choose what I want to see because there's so much of it available. Um, Goldberg is a guy that is older. He hasn't been doing a lot of wrestling the last few years, but... There's no way you can could have guessed what the Survivor Series was going to mean to Bill. Bill Goldberg. He came back. He did his return. People were buzzing for it. He came back. He beat uh, Brock Lesnar in 90 seconds. He did a feat that no one in WWE has been able to do over the last three, four years since his loss to John Cena. And... Um, really changed the game. Goldberg announced himself at the Royal Rumble. People are speculating that we're going to see um, Goldberg versus Brock Lesnar in a rematch at WrestleMania 33. But the thing is, is that every time he used Goldberg, even if it's just on a Monday Night Raw deal, like he was used on Monday Night Raw this week where he did a spear, how much is Goldberg's body really going to take? I mean, if you remember Kevin Nash, Kevin Nash on, on Monday Night Raw back in 2002 when he tore his quad, all he was doing was walking across the ring. And I mean, we saw, you know, Braun Strowman and Roman Reigns deliver that double spear. Um, you know, the, the Raw before Survivor Series, um, Goldberg got a little bit physical with a couple of the uh, um, security guards that were there at the show separating uh, Brock and Goldberg and um Word came out that he got injured and was it was a little bit beaten up to the point where people thought they did such a fast Survivor Series match because of the fact that Goldberg was hurt and he couldn't wrestle. Um, you know, every time that Goldberg gets in the ring, it honestly could be his last match. Uh, you know, if if there's money to be made out there, it's going to be the Royal Rumble building up WrestleMania. I think that honestly, if you put Goldberg on fast lane. It's just, I, I mean, what are you going to do? You're not going to do Goldberg versus um, Brock at Fastlane. You're not going to do Goldberg versus Heyman at Fastlane. So who out there is an honest competitor against Goldberg at Fastlane that people are going to care about? Fastlane is a pay-per-view that's going to be looked at a lot like Battleground. It's not the Royal Rumble. It's not WrestleMania. So why does this event matter? All it is is it, it used to be a pay-per-view that was used as a cash grab. Um, that, that was the Elimination Chamber. Now it's just a pay-per-view that WWE is running on the WWE Network where Raw can have an exclusive show as well as SmackDown can have one and they can make sure that everybody thinks that their $9.99 is going to good, a good measure. Am I saying if Goldberg wrestles a fast lane, am I not going to watch? Honestly, as a single guy on a Sunday, I ain't got shit else to do. I'm going to watch it. But I just think that honestly, what are they going to feel like if Goldberg goes to deliver a spear on... Who's on the Monday Night Raw roster that this guy can wrestle that people are going to care about? Um, let's say they do. They want to kill off Rusev, but Rusev's not going to do anything important at WrestleMania. And they do Rusev versus Goldberg at Fastlane. And let's say Goldberg goes to deliver a spear to Rusev. He slips on a banana peel in the ring, tears his quad. And look, now you're WrestleMania 33 match against Brock Lesnar's in the shitter. And because of the fact you're so close to WrestleMania, now Brock's screwed. What's Brock going to do at WrestleMania where it messes up your whole entire card? Don't, I <laughs> just, I think it's a risk. And, and that's all I'm going to say. And um, like I said, uh, you know, just like Paul Heyman said, if I'm not going uh, to boycott, who gives a shit? Because you know I'm going to watch. I've said I'm going to watch. I just think it's a risk. And I'm surprised that WWE wants to take that risk with Fastlane.